Hi, and thanks for joining me for this course, The Responsible Use of Energy. I'm your host, Phil A. Ment, and I need your help. The world needs energy ambassadors to help save the planet's energy. From outer space, the planet Earth looks like a big blue marble. But this marble is our home. And just like most homes around the world, it takes a lot of energy to run. So we have to take care of it and not waste its energy. Here is what you will learn in this course. Exploring energy, where you will explore the different sources of energy. Energy is not unlimited, where you will find out the difference between renewable and non-renewable energy sources. And finally, using energy responsibly to make a difference, where you can find ways to conserve energy right at home and make a difference. No matter what kind of energy you use in your home, it's a good idea to know about energy and its responsible use, so you can do your part in saving it. Click each part of the globe to see what kind of energy it is. The main source of energy around the world is oil. Most electricity, fuel, and everyday things like plastic come from this source. Oil comes from far underground. It is brought to the surface by pumps and pipes. The best known use for oil is gasoline for cars. This is a fossil fuel, meaning it is a non-renewable source of energy. Coal is one of the major sources of energy in the world. It is usually mined from hillsides and mountains. Coal is a rock that is formed by millions of years of pressure on decaying organic material like plants and animals. That is why this rock is able to be burned, releasing its energy. It's also why we call coal a fossil fuel. Coal is a non-renewable resource. Natural gas is found in most of the world. The only place it's not found is in North Africa and Greenland. It often is located around coal or oil deposits in the earth. The word natural means that it is a gas formed by natural chemical processes in the earth. It is used for heating, cooking, and generating electricity. Since it is formed by many of the same processes that create coal and oil, it is non-renewable. Surprised to see wood on our list of energy sources? Don't be. Wood is needed to make fire, the earliest known energy source in human history. Wood is heavily used to supply the energy for cooking and heating. It has also been used to power steam technology in combination with water. Wood is a renewable resource because trees can be replaced. But we have to be careful how much we use wood products because trees take years to grow. Wind power is a new source of energy that's as old as the earth. It's very strong. Try flying a kite on a windy day. Most wind power is converted to electricity by using giant machines called wind turbines. The ability to use this kind of energy for electricity production has only been developed recently. Because wind is a natural resource that never runs out, it is called a renewable resource. The correct term for water power is hydropower. Hydro means water. Water power is one of the oldest known sources of energy in human history. For example, did you know that water mills were used in ancient China? Today, it is most often used to create electricity by using dams. And of course, it's a major source of energy and life for humans as drinking water. Because water is so plentiful and is replenished every time it rains, it is considered a renewable resource. Nuclear energy uses the power of the atom to create something very simple, steam power. When atoms are split, this generates an incredible amount of power that is used to superheat water, converting it into steam, which is then used to create electricity. However, it also generates waste that can be dangerous to human health and the environment. It takes a long time, sometimes thousands of years, for nuclear waste to become safe. Since everything is made up of atoms, 
This energy source is considered a renewable resource, although it is made primarily from uranium, a fossil fuel. The term geo means earth, and thermal means heat. So the word geothermal literally means heat from the earth. Even though this type of energy is right under our feet, it is just now being tapped as a usable energy source. However, while this type of renewable energy is very efficient and doesn't hurt the environment, it's limited by its location. Geothermal sources occur in areas of the world that have volcanoes. So areas that aren't anywhere near these places can't use geothermal energy. Solar power means energy from the sun. How powerful is it? The Earth receives more energy from the sun in just one hour than the world uses in a whole year. Solar energy is used to generate electricity using solar panels. Unfortunately, things like solar panels require solar cells, which need to be created from already existing materials like silicon, and those are not unlimited. Because of this, solar energy usage isn't as high as it could be. Wow, that really is a lot of energy. However, that energy can get used up pretty quickly too. That's why we need to be responsible when we use it. We'll cover that in our next part. But first, let's try this activity. All right, let's see how well you remember which types of energy sources are renewable and which ones are non-renewable. Click and drag the slices to fill either the renewable or the non-renewable buckets. Uh-oh, looks like you might have mixed up some of your energy sources. Remember, the renewable energy we use is solar, wind, water, geothermal, wood, and nuclear. The non-renewable fossil fuels are coal, oil, and natural gas. Click the next button to continue. Like we said before, while it may seem like there's an awful lot of energy in the world, it can run out. Let's explore how energy is not unlimited. The main reason that energy runs out is because there are so many people on Earth. Right now, there are almost 7 billion people on our big blue home. Now, imagine all those people plugging into the Earth, using mostly fossil fuels. It puts a big drain on our energy supply. It doesn't take long before it starts to run out. The world's population is growing very quickly, and most of the energy use today is still based on burning fossil fuels like oil, coal, and natural gas. Even renewable resources like wood get used up very quickly. Even worse, people are wasteful with their energy use because it seems like there's so much of it. That can lead to shortages. So what's the solution? The best solution is to use a more responsible mix of renewable and non-renewable energy sources. Increasing our use of renewable energy like solar, geothermal, water and wind power allows us to stabilize our energy use. This is our goal as the world gets more crowded and our limited supplies of fossil fuels shrink. And just think, if we can cut wasted use of energy by even 50% on top of that, all sources of energy will last longer meaning our world will last longer too. 
What is a responsible mix of energy? That depends on the region and the needs of the population. In this activity, explore the different areas of the world and choose the best energy mix based on that region's available energy sources and their needs. Use the magnifying glass to find clues to help you choose the best energy sources. Once you've examined the area, click and drag the energy icons into the box. Remember, your goal is to get the right mix of renewable and non-renewable resources together. Put the wrong mix together, and that area might run out of energy. Ready? Click the Next button to start. Not quite. In an environment like this, you want to use what they have in abundance. So here, the right choices are solar, wind power, and natural gas. Unfortunately, that's not the right mix. Here, where they need heat to survive, they need energy sources like oil, wood, and geothermal energy. Nice job! Lots of energy can be found in the mountains, including coal reserves that are mined, wind power found at the top of windy ridges, water rushing down the hills, and the forests that grow thick there. Very good! Cities need a lot of power for all kinds of uses. Among the sources for this city are imported oil, nuclear energy created just outside town, electricity from the generator station up in the hills, and a solar power station. Great job! Now you can see how the proper mix of renewable and non-renewable energy sources helps the world to conserve energy. This way, our energy should last for a long time, even as there are more of us to use it. Click the Next button to continue. Okay, now that we've explored our energy needs and concerns on a global level, let's see how you can make a difference. The people who live in this house have a lot of energy at their fingertips. There are a number of rooms here. In each is a place where energy is being used and sometimes wasted. Explore the house and roll over the items you see. Once you're done exploring, click the Next button. Time for Phil's Energy Challenge! Throughout the house are places and items that use energy. Find them and then click them to help save energy in this house. Find 10 places in the house where you can help reduce energy consumption. Find all the places to earn your Energy Ambassador Certificate. But make sure you click the right ones. Some things may not help you save energy. Ready? Let's get started. Uh. 
So, how did you do? If you like your results, click the next button to continue. If you want to try again, click the play again button. Let's take a minute to review what we have learned. Different kinds of energy are used all around the world. Energy is not unlimited because of all the people on Earth. Finally, you have discovered how to make a difference by conserving energy right at home. If we can encourage people around the world to think of the Earth like the home in our last challenge, and they pay attention to the responsible use of energy in their homes, we can make sure that our energy needs will be met for a long, long time. Congratulations! You have completed this course. To print out your special Energy Ambassador Certificate, click the button you see here. Then you can show it to all your friends and tell them Phil sent you. Thanks for taking this course. And don't forget, always remember to use energy responsibly. Goodbye now.